is error handling in CAN protocol? Let's try to figure out answer to this question in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Ashwarya Pattab. This video is part of our course that is Introduction to AutoSAP. So without any further delay, let's get started. Error handling is crucial in the CAN protocol due to demanding nature of applications where CAN is commonly used mainly in automotive and industrial systems. CAN enables reliable communication between the electronic control units and various devices within these systems. However, the transmission medium and the environmental factors introduce the possibility of errors occurring during the communication. When errors occur during message transmission or reception, proper error handling procedures are essential to detect, respond, and recover from these errors. The CAN protocol has various error handling mechanisms in place to ensure reliable communication between these nodes. The mechanisms include bit monitoring, bit stuffing, CRC error, acknowledgement error, and lastly, the form error. In this particular video, we will discuss in detail about the bit monitoring error. Every transmitter reads back its transmitted bit from the CAN bus to ensure its transmitted data integrity and this process is known as bit monitoring. Let us consider there are multiple nodes connected in the CAN bus. These nodes may be either transmitter or receiver as well. The transmitting node sends out some data and the remaining nodes act as a receiving node. The transmitting node reads back its data which is sent over the CAN bus to ensure the data integrity. The transmitted bit to the CAN bus and the bit that is read from the CAN bus must be same. If at all it's not same, then the bit error is indicated immediately and the further transmission of the data is stopped. However, if the transmitted data and the read data are both same, then it continues to transmit its data further on the CAN bus. Let's understand this concept with the help of an example. Let us consider there are many nodes in the CAN network. These nodes are also represented on the screen. Here you can see node A, node B, node C. For time being, let's consider node A is the transmitter for our understanding purpose. Node A sends out our data on the CAN bus and the remaining nodes receive the data including the transmitting node that is node A. Let's consider node A is sending the value 1 and the remaining nodes receive the data. Now, the node A tries to verify that the sent data is properly sent or not by monitoring or reading back the same data which is present on the CAN bus. If the transmitted data and the read data, if both are matching, then the node A will further transmit its data. However, let's consider that the read value is 0 and the transmitted value is 1. In this scenario, then what happens is immediately the bit error is indicated and the further transmission of data onto the canvas is stopped. The arrows on the screen also represent the mechanism so that you can understand it in a better way. Alright, by implementing robust error handling mechanisms, the CAN protocol ensures that the communication remains reliable and consistent even in the challenging environments. These mechanisms enable data integrity and system reliability, which makes the CAN trusted choice for worldwide range of applications. So, in this particular video, we discussed about only one of the error handling mechanisms that is bit monitoring. Further mechanisms will be discussed in our upcoming videos. So this video was all about understanding a bit of error handling mechanism in CAN protocol. Thank you so much for watching our video content. If there are any queries related to the video, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Train yourself to make a difference.